Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to create this design right here. Pretty easy design. This is a high jump design. It's a joke design, um, something funny. Spring is here and on top of baseball, which is what everybody's thinking about. There's also things like track and field going on. So start thinking about some of the other sports as well, especially some of the not as popular ones because there's gonna be less competition there. This specific design, pretty easy to make. I'm gonna go over a specific technique here. And this is all about how you can get that cut out look. So you can't tell right now because I've got it on a black shirt, but if I was to move this over, you can tell that it is in fact a cut out. So you can see how you can see right through that, uh, that high jumper there. So it started off as a silhouette on this background and then I went ahead and made it into that nice cutout so you can put it on different color shirts and it will look nice. So if you wanna learn how to do this, please do stick around. So as always, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. This is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I will be designing for black today. So let's just go ahead and start by selecting our background color up in the top left-hand corner. We'll just click this box and select black. Now I'm gonna be doing a um, track and field design today. Um, specifically, we're gonna go ahead and do high jump, but you know, anything track and field is gonna be kind of big right now as we're entering spring. I know everybody's thinking about baseball. Baseball's the number one thing everybody's thinking of. There's also gonna be a ton of competition with baseball stuff. So if you start thinking maybe a little bit more specific, we can go to track and field. And if we were to niche down from there, we can pick specific events. So for today, I'm gonna to go ahead and go ahead and pick um, high jump. And we're gonna show you a little bit of a technique where we can sort of do a little bit of a cut out. So let's just start. Um, I'm gonna do a silhouette over a vintage style sunset. So we'll come up to elements on the left hand side. And I've already sort of looked for what I want, but just so that you can see if I was to do sunset, sunset, vintage sunset, retro sunset. In fact, retro might be a good one to do, retro sunset. You can see here under graphics that you're gonna get a whole bunch of these pre-made sunsets. Now I did do videos on how to create your own sunset. So if you don't find the one that you want, or if you're looking for something, you know, very specific, you can always make your own by um, just picking just circles with different colors and, and then just cropping them and layering them to, to give you that sunset look. And I do have a video on that, but let's just go ahead. We'll pick a sunset that's already made for the sake of time, but you can definitely see that if you scroll down, you've got a lot of different choices, a lot of fun sunsets that you can pick from. I'm gonna go ahead, select this one right here. This one looks like an easy one to work with. It's kind of that half sunset, so it does have some solid stuff atop for me to work with. So I think this is gonna be great for the design I'm doing. So I'm just gonna start by making this pretty big. I want it to fill a good amount of the page, but not necessarily the entire page yet. So I'm gonna give myself some space to work. But there's my sunset. I'm gonna be cropping it so that it's more of a half sunset or maybe a little bit more than half. So I'm just gonna go ahead, double click here. I'm gonna take these corners and to crop, I can pull straight up. Now, if you pull diagonally in, you're gonna resize it. But if you keep it um, kind of more straight up, you can crop this way. And that's perfect right there. So I think that's a good one to start with. Now I'm gonna be looking for a high jump silhouette. So I'll come back over to my elements. Again, I can put high jump. I did try this earlier with pole vault and I had some um, you know, really good pole vaulting ones, but they didn't quite work exactly the way I'd hoped that they would. Unfortunately, it doesn't always, this technique sometimes works amazing and sometimes not so good at all. And it's kind of a little bit hit or miss. Sometimes it's, you know, good enough that you can work with it, but you know, not perfect. Sometimes it's just, you can't work with it at all. So you'll see what I mean when I get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this high jumper here. That looks pretty, again, easy, straightforward to work with. I do want the bar to be a little bit more parallel. So I'm gonna angle this to try to get that bar to look more parallel with these lines. And when I'm not sure, I can use my rulers and guides 
on the top and bottom of my page to just pull down a line to make sure everything looks pretty good and that looks nice and straight there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna stretch this out. I wanna make it nice and big. Perfect. So that it kind of goes outside or the, I want the bar to go end to end. So I don't want there to be kind of any gap there. So I want it to be just big enough that the bar will go off the edge. And that looks pretty cool right there. I like that a lot. Um, I might even crop this sunset up one more layer here. Double click it. And there we go. So I like the way that this looks. Now right here by itself, that's a cool design you could go with. But when I go ahead and put this on different color shirts, let's say I was to put it on a white shirt, now what you see is a black silhouette, the bar is sticking out a little bit, and it doesn't look as good on a white shirt. It won't look as good on different color shirts. So the way that we can you know, get around this would be to have this be a cutout where I can see the color through it the way I do on the sunset. I see these lines going through. So in order to make this a cutout, like I said, sometimes this technique works great and sometimes not so much, but I want to make the background color the same color as my silhouette. So both of these are a nice solid black color. And then from here, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna put high jumper. I'm gonna title this, oops, can't type. And I'm gonna go ahead and I will download this. And I'm gonna keep the black background. So I'm just gonna download as is as a PNG, keeping all of the black. And I'll give it a second to download. Perfect. I'm gonna add another page here and I'm gonna make this page a nice white color just so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go to my uploads and I'm gonna go ahead and upload what I just downloaded, which is my high jumper. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, double click that. And so now I've got my high jumper on here, nice black background. And so now I'm gonna use some photo um, editing on this. So I'm gonna do a background remover and hopefully it will remove everything black, including my high jumper. So let's see, edit image, background remover. This is where we kind of cross our fingers and hope that it works out okay or is something that we can work with. Like I said, sometimes it's hit or miss. It can be very frustrating when you get it and it doesn't work and it's awesome when you get it and it does. So there's a perfect example that worked beautifully. All right, it removed all of the black, perfect edges. It didn't leave anything behind, nothing I need to touch up. And so that was a great example. What I was playing with before didn't work at all. It left a lot of areas that I needed to, to clean up or you know either restore or erase. Um, if it's something simple, you know, you can always use these erase and restore tools up here and do it by hand. Again, if it's simple, it won't take you too long, but if it's something really complex, it might take you way too long to erase and restore by hand to make it worth your while. So if you get a good one and apply, um, then this technique works great for just getting those cutout shapes and that, that background remover. So you can see right there, perfect, how I went from that black to here a nice cutout and I can change my background color now. And you can see that as I change my background color, I'm gonna get all sorts of cool backgrounds. So that's cool. You can also see they started adding in here gradients. Now this is new too. Canva's been doing a lot of new things. So now I can get background color gradients. Not that we particularly care too much about that because typically we're not keeping our background. We're doing a transparent background for a shirt. But just so you know, those are there and those are new but I'm gonna stick with my black background for now. And I'm gonna crop it, make it a little easier to work with. Again, I'm gonna make it nice and big across the page here. And actually, now that I've got this top one, I can just go ahead, and delete that. I'm gonna work with this one. So now we're gonna put a little bit of text in here. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard, pull up a text box. And so for this design, I think I'm gonna put, there's a couple different fun ones we can do, but let's go ahead and make a little joke one. This one's gonna say, my mom is proud when, and you'll see how this is gonna go. That's gonna go up there. One more text box. Bottom one's gonna say, I get high. Little joke. 
good for high school, college athletes. Usually you don't get a lot of little kids that do track and field, so it's okay to have, you know, a little bit more jokes like this. And of course you don't have to do that kind of a joke if there's anything you can do with text, but I'm gonna do something like that. Now, typically with the text, we're gonna want it to be nice and bold. Usually I'll wanna go with something a little bit narrower um, so that I can make it, uh, you know, big. So let's go ahead and let's look at some narrow fonts. So I can come up here and I can put narrow and I'm looking at something narrow and bold, so you can kind of circle through and see some of those look nice. I want it to be easy to read, something that's nice and clean. Um, there's a good one there that's nice and narrow and clean, so that might be a good one. Squadra one, don't really like the shape of that, but again, you can just sort of play. For this design, obviously, I want something that's nice and bold, narrow, that looks pretty nice, easy to read, not fluffy or anything. It's got a nice kind of square solid look to it. I can center this and then I can use some text effects on it. So at the top where it says effects, I'm gonna bring up my text effects. I can come down to where it says curve. It's gonna curve my text. And then from here, I can adjust the curve by just pulling this around. And so you can see how I can play with my curve, make it bigger, littler something like that. So that looks pretty cool right there. I like that. And I can do I get high. I can either use the same text that I just did or I can pick a different a different font. So I can always make it more bold, less bold, maybe a little bit wider. This is a semi condensed right here. So it's not quite as condensed as the top one, but very similar in style. Make that one come nice and big across the bottom space it something like that so you can see how this is looking looks pretty nice from here I can go ahead and select some colors so because this is a nice rainbowy color I'm gonna want the text to sort of match so what I think I'm gonna do is continue this gradient by doing a light color here and sort of that darker color here so I'm gonna pick a text color I can use my little add new color dropper if I want to so the little dropper on the corner here and I can select oops oh no Reload page, reload page. Camera's been having some issues lately. Let me try that again. <laughs> Text color, use my little eyedropper feature here. Hover, click, perfect, it worked that time. I can make it a little bit lighter if I want to, just sort of continue the gradients by making it a little bit lighter and maybe even a little bit lighter. That way I can continue the gradients. And then I can continue this gradient down here too by again, using my eyedropper feature, picking that bottom color right there. So there's my gradient. And then if I wanted to, um, I can see the way that this is kind of going into those reds, um, a little bit away from the orange and into more of that sort of redder tone. So I can play with that a little bit. And so I can do something somewhat like that and so that looks pretty cool right there my mom is proud when I get high I can go ahead and highlight the entire thing now so it's grouped together and then I can bring it up to the top of the page I can even resize this whole thing now so that it's gonna fill the page a lot better and so there we go and now I've got my cutouts that I can put on different color shirts and again now if I was to put it on a white shirt you can see it's gonna look okay maybe the text color isn't the best for a white shirt but you can definitely see how i can pick different colors to go through here now if i wanted to take this whole thing now and save this as an image which i could i'm going to go ahead and put maybe high jumper sunset i'm going to show you one more way that we could play with this and i'm going to download this time we will do a transparent background Okay, now, like I said, that can be ready to be put up on a sticker, a shirt, a mug, anything you want right now. Water bottle might look good too, because it's a track thing. Tank top might look good, because it's a track thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to my uploads with my nice cutout one. I'm gonna open one more page down here, and I'm gonna put my cutout on my new page. And now I've got my cutout and I can use more photo effects on it as a whole if I wanted to. So if I wanted to say, hey, edit image, at this point, I could adjust the saturation, maybe make it a little bit more saturated, a little bit brighter if I wanted to. 
Um, so I could play with it like that. I could use any of the filters I wanted on it to adjust some of these colors now. I could use um, some duotone to get different colors, photogenic to different colors. Um, color mix is another fun one. So if I was to go see all, you can see how I can change the colors here with the color mix. So if maybe I didn't want so much of that orange and yellow, but maybe I wanted more uh, a blue green, I could select any of these. And you can just see how that would look right there. And so I can make different variations now of the exact same design by going ahead and playing with these colors a little bit. And so there you go. So I can get lots of different variations. There's a green one. Um, you could also, now that we have this as, as an image, I could use this as a frame and put a clipping mask over it as well. And I could use uh, any kind of clipping mask, whether it's a gradient clipping mask or any other style clipping mask you want. So there's a lot of fun ways that we can go with this once we've got that image, lots of different ways that we could play with it. You could scale it out, make lots of different versions of it. So that's just what I wanted to show you there. If you have any questions about this technique, um, go ahead, drop it in the uh, comment section below. I will try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, get creative with this. Again, it might take several tries and you might have to do it a few times to find the right combination of things to make this work perfectly. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but most of the time it's either, you know, pretty good, something you can work with at least, or it comes out perfect just like this. Well, I'm pretty happy with this one. So again, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, Keep trying to think outside of the box. Uh, I hope you guys are designing ahead of time. Like I said, you should be well into quarter two designs right now. Start thinking about, you know, the end of the school year, graduation, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Cinco de Mayo, um, anything like that you wanna be starting to design for. And um, I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.